The Cavapoo and the Cockapoo are two of the most amazing, affectionate, and intelligent creatures on the planet. Many interchange these dogs a lot because they don't know their differences. But if you look closely, you can see the difference. Despite being descendants of the poodle, their appearance, personality, and temperament are different. Knowing these distinctions will give you an idea of which dog is the best pet for you. Are you ready to watch and see the difference? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the best poodle hybrids on the planet, the Cavapoo and the Cockapoo. Is one better as a watchdog than the other? Appearance The Cavapoo is one of the cutest dogs you will ever see. It has a compacted face, long ears, and large brows that accentuates their cute appearance. They also have a cute button nose, large round eyes, and long muzzle. Their body may be small, but it's well proportioned. Plus, their short legs have the same fringing as the Cavaliers. They have round and fluffy feet that add to their cuddliness. The Cockapoo's appearance, however, varies depending on the dominance of their parents' genes. Usually, these creatures have a rounded head with floppy ears and wide, expressive eyes under their bushy eyebrows. Like the Cavapoo, the Cockapoo's bodies are well-proportioned. They have straight and sturdy front legs and rounded paws. Origin The Cavapoo originated in Australia in the late 1990s. It's a hybrid from the Poodle and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Breeders wanted to create a breed for people who are allergic to dogs. When they found the crossbreed had all these features and more, the demand for the Cavapoo skyrocketed, giving them worldwide popularity. The Cockapoo, on the other hand, is one of the first designer hybrids. It was first established in the 1960s when breeders in North America attempted to combine the characteristics of the Poodle and the Cocker Spaniel. From there, they were able to create the first cockapoo, which gained popularity instantly. Size Male cavapoos can grow from 11 to 14 inches, and they can weigh from 10 to 20 pounds. Females, on the other hand, can grow from 9 to 11 inches and weigh up to 17 pounds. For cockapoos, males can grow from 12 to 14 inches and weigh from 13 to 18 pounds. The female cockapoos, however, can grow from 11 to 13 inches and weigh up to 16 pounds. Lifespan Both the cavapoo and the cockapoo can live up to 15 years. Seeing how long they can live, could you imagine how many adventures you can partake together? Compared to other breeds, these dogs can live the longest, so you can spend more time together. Cavapoos are known for their amicable and outgoing personality. These creatures are playful, sociable, and loyal dogs. It's impossible to miss them in the playground. They are one of the most active and friendliest dogs. Cockapoos, on the other hand, are created as companion dogs. They are known for their friendly nature. Plus, they are naturally happy. It's one of the reasons why people love having these dogs around. Cockapoos emanate positive energy that can reduce the onset of depression and anxiety. This makes them outstanding therapy dogs. Shedding The Cavapoo usually has a short, wavy coat that comes in cream, fawn, gold, chestnut, and white. The Cockapoo, on the other hand, has a long and curly coat that comes in white, cream, black, red, brown, and silver. Both of these dogs are hypoallergenic, despite having thick locks. They don't often shed, so you don't have to deal with the hair on your couches, bed, and clothing. Grooming Because of their curly locks, the Cavapoo is considered high maintenance in terms of grooming. These creatures need regular brushing. To care for one, you need to give them regular baths to remove dirt and matting on their hair. It's also important to clean their ears and their hair under their eyes. This helps prevent infections and rashes. Like the Cavapoo, Cockapoos need regular grooming. When their coat reaches 2 to 3 inches in length, experts recommend clipping them. 
This will help prevent their hair from dirt, tangles, and fleas. It's also important to trim the hair around their eyes to keep them from affecting their vision. If you don't clip this, it could lead to eye infections and cataracts. Intelligence Both the Cavapoo and the Cockapoo are intelligent creatures. They inherited this trait from the Poodle. This is one reason why families love to have these Poodle hybrids. Their curiosity drives them to learn and observe. Believe it or not, these creatures, when socialized, can understand you as their owner. They may not communicate like humans do, but they have a distinct way to communicate how they feel. Trainability The Cavapoo needs constant validation and praise. Because they clamor for your approval, this makes them easy to train. If they do a great job, don't forget to give them treats or pet them. This will help instill the command in their minds so they can carry out the action once they hear the command. With regular reinforcement, they can learn skills and foster their talents. When it comes to high-spirited dogs, the cockapoo is number one. This makes them eager to learn. So, if you're planning to have a trainable dog that can help you out with house chores, this dog is for you. Temperament the Cavapoo and the Cockapoo are both very active dogs. They can be very playful with animals and humans. Some dogs are easily irritated. Others chase small animals, such as cats and rabbits. However, these dogs are different. They love hanging out and playing with smaller animals. Plus, they are not bothered by the rowdy and noisy behaviors of other animals. However, some of these dogs can develop aggressive and negative behaviors. So, it's best to train and socialize these dogs as early as possible. Family Life Both the Cavapoo and the Cockapoo make amazing family members. These creatures love to make their owners happy. They don't even mind babysitting. In fact, they love to bond with children. However, you should instruct your kids not to be too rough in playing with these dogs because they're fragile, especially as pups. As much as possible, monitor their activity to prevent accidents and injuries. These dogs can tolerate alone time. They will eagerly wait for you until you come back. However, because of their active personality, you need to give your pooch something to occupy them. It's important to prevent them from displaying negative behaviors, such as biting and chewing. Apartment Living Despite being highly active dogs, both these dogs can live inside apartments. However, they still need regular exercise. Daily walks and runs for about 60 minutes is enough to stimulate their minds and keep them happy. Friendliness towards strangers. Both of these creatures are very welcoming to strangers. If someone knocks on the door, they are unlikely to show aggression. In fact, they will even show courtesy and friendliness towards them. So, tell your friends not to be afraid. These dogs love cuddles and play. If people ever visit your home, these are the activities that will make the dogs love and accept them. Watchdog Ability Because of their friendliness to strangers, the Cavapoo and the Cockapoo are pretty poor as watchdogs. If you live in a dangerous neighborhood and need protection, these dogs aren't for you. You'll need a good dog who can alert you to when someone approaches your home to promote safety. Tolerance to weather. These dogs have thick, soft coats. This enables them to ward off the cold during winter. However, they're not as tolerable to warmer weather. During summer, it's important to bathe them more often and keep them hydrated. This will prevent dehydration and heat stroke. Health. The major concerns of the Cavapoo include mitral valve dysplasia and patellar luxation. They can also be diagnosed with cataracts and allergies. The Cockapoo, on the other hand, is prone to cataracts, hip dysplasia, ear infections, and patellar luxation. Vets usually administer tests such as x-rays, eye, ear, and skin exams, and endocardiograms. These tests are important to ensure their health. If you plan to get a Cavapoo or a Cockapoo, it's important to consult the vet regularly. 
This way, they can give you advice about how you can care for your pooch. This includes their grooming needs, vaccination, diet, and nutrition. It usually costs $200 to $400 to care for these dogs, but it does not amount to the happiness and joy they give you. There you have it! The Cavapoo and the Cockapoo has both distinct traits. However, both of these creatures love to see their owners happy. If you want an energetic, affectionate, and friendly dog, choose between the Cavapoo and the Cockapoo. They will never let you down. Thanks for watching. Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come. And we'll see you next time.